well. I mean, there's, I mean, Sauvignon Blanc is not really, a, a, I guess, one of Hawke's Bay's strong points. It's not what Hawke's Bay is known for. Um, Hawke's Bay is more known for, for Bordeaux Reds and for Syrah now, um, for Chardonnay. Um, yeah, so to find the site, I guess it was just really interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a much more interesting site there than, um, than on the flat. Um, it's a very difficult site, so the yields are very low, the berries are small. If you walked through that vineyard and didn't tell someone it was something on Blanc, they probably wouldn't pick it. Um, you know, it looks more like Riesling or uh, the berries, the bunches, like 65 gram bunches. Um, it's very different to what you'd see in Marlborough for a Sauvignon. So. That area is cooler because we're close to the coast, um, so we get that cool in afternoon breeze. So it, it's more known, that, that particular subregion, Tawonga, is more known for, um, for Sauvignon Blanc Chardonnay. Yeah. We're not actually in Tawonga, we're not on those soils. Because that's down on the flat, we're up in the in the Tuki Tuki Hills behind. Um, the site was originally planted in Cap Sab actually, and it didn't really work, so um, we replanted it with Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. I think.